Review of possible approval of changes to connect fees for possible action. This, we were approached by a, a customer looking for the possibility of reducing those fees. Um, we did consider uh, case by case, and then we thought we should at least bring it to the board's attention. We don't intend for any action to take place, but we do want to look at what the cost reduction, what the change would be if we took a, uh, a uh, reduction and this is based on 10% reduction of the, uh, of the process. Uh, we went through the formula and, uh, and changed some of those figures. The most common services are a residential, would go from, uh, from uh, uh, $1,500 to $1,300, different $150 um, uh, for a residential. For small commercial, it would go from uh, the uh, 2,200 down to 2,000 for a, a uh, $226 reduction. What we intend is in a future board meeting, if the the policy, the policy of this is available online. Right over there shows a large commercial in there too. And large commercial, this is based on a uh, 400 amp, 480 volt um, service. And it would reduce that, if you go clear to the bottom line on the right, it would reduce that uh, connect by uh, $1,500. So those are some numbers we're, we're looking at that we'd like to bring to the board uh, for consideration. Um, the concept is uh, um, in reducing costs to the future development in, law, in the Mesquite area as well as the Overton area are these uh, workable numbers uh, that the board could uh, could deal with. So it's informational at this point, unless you choose to take action, we put it as an action item, but we certainly wanted to make those numbers available to you with the caveat that uh, we've been approached by a, a customer to address those uh, with the development they are doing. We, uh, we have uh, begun construction for that individual with the caveat that uh, once the board has reviewed these, uh, connect these, we would get with them on that. So, Does this have anything to do with the presentation last week or last month uh, from the group that David Morgan was involved in? No, but I think, I think uh, David's group uh, would, uh, would look at that as a, a positive move to reduce that, uh, that connect fee. Obviously, it could be reduced more than that. Um, it is a it is a part of our annual income. If you don't uh, if you don't get it from growth, if you don't recover those dollars from growth, you have to build it into your rates. That's the two locations you have of, for obtaining uh, income, uh, either from a borrowing and uh, build that into your rates, or from a new customer. In the past, we've always built that into the new customer base. The new customer, whoever creates the cost, pays the cost. However, at this point, we have infrastructure in place. We've paid for it already. And typically, we would, we would take those dollars and uh, those connect these and roll them into future project, projects to offset the cost of growth. But, uh, and we're not anticipating a whole lot of growth, are we? No, we're not. Um, and, and the question is, is this an adequate reduction or should we look at a higher deduction on that? Um, we could look at a higher deduction. We also applied 10% to all three categories. We could adjust those Very separately so. if you'd like that to be varied. So. And with that, that's, that's just the numbers uh, we've made available to you for consideration. We'll have it on, the, on a future agenda if that's the will of the board. I would I would look for a motion to postpone this decision to our, to a future board meeting. Uh, I make that motion. Have a motion to postpone. Okay. Have a second discussion. Discussion. Yeah. In the next next couple of months, could you show us what kind of uh, revenue we get revenue off that? You, get sure. off of, off the off that, that would be something we want to include in there. Okay. Any more discussion? <laughs> Tony yeah, Roberts ruled we have the motion second in discussion. We usually discuss and then have the motion. Uh, What's that, Gary? Uh, I just said if we uh, have an estimate to you know, the utilities are right there, how much it costs to hook them up in consideration. Sorry. If 
I think some else to consider have the uh, other utilities and, uh, and uh, governmental entities responded as well with the reduction and what kind of reduction they've made in their fee. We may want to we want to mirror that as well. Okay, that brings us to item J, review and possible approval of annual employee bonuses for possible action. <coughs> We recognize this is a this is a sensitive issue. There has been a, a bit of discussion that the city of Mesquite has cut back on their cost, but uh, rather than having a uh, a bonus as we're calling it, they do extend, I believe, a longevity pay unless they've suspended that. Longevity pay amounts to in the first uh, first ten years, a hundred dollars per year. So within their ten years, there's a thousand dollar longevity pay so um, this is built into the, uh, the budget based on last year's budget as well um, we would note that uh, in restructuring the health care program for the, for the, for the uh, employees they took a $400 uh, reduction in the um, uh, health savings account they also had an increase in their uh, health care a monthly deduction from $25 to $35, which is a $240 out-of-pocket uh, cost to them as well. And uh, we added uh, a change in the benefits, a uh, reduction in benefits, where they now pick up the a copay on their vision. And uh, uh, we also did a stop loss from $3,000 to $5,000. So those employees have stepped up. Now, in, in recognizing that this is a, a bit of a controversial issue, senior management, which means myself, uh, Terry Mendes, and uh, Richard, have uh, opted to uh, opt out of that uh, should the board uh, choose to uh, uh, provide a bonus to the employees. Bearing in mind, they've uh, certainly made their share of sacrifices to reduce costs and uh, in keeping with past uh, actions of the board, um, we're recommending that uh, $300 uh, per person uh, bonus. And maybe I'd uh, prevail on our attorney for what the uh, Mesquite or the Virgin or the District, Water District does. Uh, we'll do a larger Christmas bonus than this district. And any money that they do receive does go to payroll, so they don't really receive that full benefit. You know, if the three hundred dollars is given, they'll receive probably between two hundred twenty five, two hundred and fifty, depending on what their deduction is. Tax rate. And if I understand it, we have budgeted that into their salary uh, yearly. I mean every year we it's not like we're suddenly pulling yeah. Three hundred dollars per person just out of the air and throwing it. That, that was going to be there no matter what else had happened. It's uh, kind of a, a standard uh, payment we've done with, and we've called it a bonus. Uh, and uh, so I guess what I'm doing is I'm looking for a motion. Well, I would just add one thing to that. When you recognize that for five years they have worked hard to keep their safety program in place and up, and, and if the average is thirty-eight thousand a year. Uh, we've certainly addressed uh, the savings through their conscientious uh, work ethics and efforts. So that's, I mean, I, I think it, for me, it's important to take care of your people. They're, they're the people that keep the lights on, and uh, it's appropriate to... Just clarify for me, um, the employees this year, Transcend Costs, also said they, they forego a Christmas party. But in the past, the the, uh, the board has authorized us to put on a Christmas party for the employees. That's not the case this year. The, the employees came to uh, myself and asked if they could put the party on themselves, if it would be all right if they used the, uh, the warehouse. They're going to do a potluck. And, uh, and so we in this moment. We were comfortable with them doing that and that was an uh, effort on their part to uh, show uh, show their willingness to uh, adjust the costs as well. So. Okay, um, 
I'm looking for a motion uh, that we uh, a motion to give our annual uh, $300 uh, bonus per employee, uh, excluding the upper management. <laughs> we don't really care whether they have any or not. Uh, the, uh, so I'm looking for a motion to do that. Do I have a motion? I make that motion. I have a motion that uh, we uh, approve the annual employee bonus of three hundred dollars per person. Or do I have a second? I'll second. I have a second. Now that's open for discussion. Well, this morning we went to work. This, I went to work this morning, and at nine o'clock we had a big meeting. And this is up at Reed Garden Station, and they are laying off. 35 people from up there. They're looking at a seasonal run, which is maybe two months out of the year for the next two years. So the power industry looks real bleak as far as revenue or anything. And, uh, and we haven't laid anybody off here. And I, uh, I just feel like we can't really, plus we just had a rate increase. So I, I have a hard time. Even though they've earned it, and they, we should give it to them, I, I just have a hard time. They're, they're making a good wage, and uh, from what's going on everywhere else, I have a hard time doing it. So that's where I stand. Any other discussion? Sir, sure, what, I, what I'm thinking is uh, it's budgeted money. It's decades long that they've been receiving this. They've got a five-year safety program, which in and of itself says that this is going to be compensable with the amount of money that they're losing because of the changes. With them trying to help us out with having a, um, the health care costs and also trying to save money with the Christmas party and everything else, they're doing everything they can to help us. And it's already budgeted money. And that's my that's my thought of the discussion. Well, my whole contention about the company and the employees is this place functions because of them. They are the ones who keep our lights on, they're the ones who who make this thing work. And uh, again, it's not it's not money that's coming in out of that we've not already planned uh, whether a rate increase had happened or not. The, uh, this money was going to it was already budgeted. Uh, I I have no problem again when we have we have saved money on the insurance, which is costing them out of pocket. We have uh, saved money in various ways. They have saved us by working safely. That is not the case in, in some power in some areas. I feel better eat the paper. Uh, I, I I personally I am an individual who really believes this company operates, every company, I don't care whose it is, operates because employees do a good job. And, and, and employees come in and I think they look at this company as more than just a place to hang their hat, a place to pick up a paycheck. I think if you deal with our people, talk to our people, they are loyal to us. And I, 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 I don't know, what, what, what's the total expense on this when you uh, figure it out? Uh, yeah. We have about 50 employees. 50 employees at 300 apiece would be 15,000 to do that. Yeah, and $15,000, uh, especially since it's already budgeted and we're not drawing it from somewhere else. Correct. And, and I'm looking at it, and then make going to those, um, the health care, changing the health care where they did. It saved Oakland Park District $59,000. And so by then come step forward and say, we're willing to take this to save the Park District money. This is a small, small token to say thank you. Thank you for finding ways to cut um, costs. Uh, when the printers are breaking down, we're sharing printers. They're trying everything they can to try to save money here. And they're saying thank you instead of cutting something that's always been a benefit for them for decades. You know, it, it goes towards saying good job. Continue to help us as a district save money. Find the little things to do it. I think that if, if we just say, you know, we're sorry, you've had this for decades, now you can cut it. You know, what's going to be their incentive, you know, to say, you know what, we're not going to try to, it, to help you, you're not helping us, you're cutting our uh, money that out of pocket expenses, now you're cutting this. Where are they going to? 
Any further discussions? I would uh, then call for the question, call for a vote. Uh, all in favor of the paying the annual bonus, uh, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. We have two opposed, three in favor of. Uh, the motion carries. That moves us to back to public comments. No, it takes us to no, safety manual. Safety I'm manual. sorry. The well, safety manual, 15th edition. We'll let Richard handle that. We've presented it to the the workers, it's the uh, APPA uh, approved uh, policy. The one change we have in there is uh, uh, in some of the gloving uh, requirements for hot work, and Rich will cover that. Yeah, and at, at this time, we did not discuss this previous for this, so but I'd ask a continuance on that one. We're still working through the verbiage in the manual on our gloving regulation. Uh, the distances required, and we're also required to purchase some um, air monitoring equipment before we enter vaults. And so before we approve that, I'd like to have that in place and the training done on the air monitoring equipment um, and have that in place before we approve it for you. Did you see where they were talking about the, the cutting down the distance of gloving to get to hot wire uh, back east? Uh, and again, yeah, I, I don't know the regulations. They were talking about how they had cut that distance down by about 10 feet before they have to glove up. And I'm thinking, if I'm going after hot wire, I'm going to want to glove up while I'm on the ground. Well, and, and that's a lot of areas have a ground to ground. Uh, as soon as you get in the bucket and leave the cradle, you, you glove, glove up. up the, I'm gloving up in the office. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, and um, what we're doing. Really toaster. <laughs> Yeah, what we're doing is using basically a 10-foot rule, um, simply because our temperatures here, especially in the summertime, we're up at uh, over 115 degrees, and you get so much fluid loss that your hands are cramping, so you need to back out and even take off those gloves, and um, and that's really just for worker consideration. If, if, we're, if we're doing from the whole time you're in the air, our men may be up there for hours at a time. And just to be able to back out and take off those gloves, they may be working well away from hot conductor while they're up there working, uh, attaching ground wires and you know stapling ground wire down the poles and you know working hardware that's well away from the hot wire, and so it allows them to work in that area without wearing the rubber gloves and sleeves because they're basically from fingertips to the tops of their arms, basically in a rubber suit. In the winter time, it feels pretty nice. <laughs> in the summer, it's a little tough. And so and we're you know, we're still do that ground do that ground to ground requirement. Um, you may be able to get the guy to work one day that way, but he's not going to be functional the next day. So, so then we're looking for a motion to postpone uh, to a later meeting uh, decision on this. Uh, I've got a motion to postpone. We've got a second. All in favor? Uh, aye. aye. Any opposed? Seeing none. The motion carries. Um, Informational item only is that come January will be time to elect a new board chair. Yes, it will. So that would be one want, of the items. You guys want to keep yeah. that in mind. We uh, may want to do that after we appoint the uh, the last uh, board member, but it's uh, in January. Pick on the new guy, is that what you're saying? <laughs> 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 they want to be president. Yeah. Chair. So, sure. Okay. Um, 